this stuff right here, this thing is great. It fills up cracks, filling up all kinds of little gaps, places where you don't want water to go. However, the first problem that I have always had is how do you store this? If you only use a third of the can, you have to throw it away and go run to the store and buy another six, seven dollar can of great stuff. There's gotta be a way to store this. They don't give you an easy solution. So I basically went around and around in circles, tried different things, and I finally figured out the easiest way to do this. Let me show you what to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is put on a pair of gloves. We're gonna be working with some chemicals, so we definitely wanna protect our so hands. What I generally do is I like to take this, this tube part off right here and start with cleaning out this tube. So we'll go to that next. So once you've got the tube released, what you wanna do is this dried off uh, foam that's, that's stuck to it, it basically will just pull off. Now I've got my little vise here, so I've got it to hold it up upright, and I'm gonna show you what I use. So this is the chemical that I use. Simple, easy stuff that you can get from Home Depot. It's called Goof Off. I take that Goof Off and I go ahead and pour it in here uh, in generous amounts and let it just sit for a little bit and penetrate and start to eat away at that uh, old gunky foam. What in you there. want to do is you just want to pour a little bit of that in there. And it's going to drip a little bit, so just put it in an area where you know you can make a mess and it'll dry off. But just let it sit there, and as you watch it, it will eat away at that, uh, at that foam. Next thing I do is go ahead and clean out the tip. Same principle. Just throw it in there, and it'll eat away at all that foam. Just let it sit. And then finally, last but not least, I like to go ahead and put it into the tip here. And what's going to happen, this can is under pressure. The foam inside here is still in good shape. You just want to clean out this tip so that in six months or three months or whenever you get ready to use it, you put your cap on, this whole tip is clean right here. And you could actually take like some kind of a, a wire or, or a pin or something and, and basically just make sure that it gets all up in there. And once you do that, that's it. You're good to go. This can will be able to be used in the future, and you don't have to throw it away. You don't have to do anything with it.